All right, welcome to FRL Division 2, Race 13. We are here at Mexico. I have Chaos. Hi, Chaos. Hey, hey, how's it going? Uh, good. I hate to be quite the pain. However, could you please, you figured out how to rename our stream? I'm on it. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. I have, we have Narkip here today. Hi, Narkip. How are you doing? And uh, that's it. So clear skies, no rain of any kind. Um, we'll see if there is any rain for the race. No one is out of the. Um, no one out of the garage yet. Affiliate. Okay, well, that's uh, fantastic. Let me step two seconds. Be right back. <laughs> Nameless Nate is out. Uh, So this guy's uh, nameless Nate. Oh, medium. Oh, wow. A lot of people are in the mediums. I am. Um, I'm going blind into this one. I'm not sure what the tire strategies look like. Do you happen to know? Okay. All right, so we have a P or we're on board with PLL on the soft tires. He's taken the pretty gingerly through the first chicane. He's just going very carefully through the the, the entire track here. I'm not sure if he's in that, and it seems like he's in the hot lap, but I'm not sure. It is uh, very easy to do. PLL going very wide into Sector 3 aborts the um, lap altogether. Nameless Nate still looks like n his lap is a go on the medium tires. One seventeen four. What's a good time here? I don't even know. Oh, that's a good idea. Nameless Nate, 117.2. Pole position. I'm very interested to see how this Ferrari's rear end goes on power on that very specific corner. And uh, the question is, um, in the the... Conclusion is always not very planted. Um, okay.
Okay. Wow. That provisional poll for Prestige 114.9. And you said the poll position was in the 13s last year? Is that what you said? Fourteenth. Okay, so one fourteen point nine is a respectable time there from Prestige. Okay. Talk about Red Bear. He's about to finish his lap right here. That's P4, 116.6. Do we happen to know how long the, um, the softs last here? Okay. So Narkip says he aims for a 1.14. Oh, I can I can maybe invite Jay actually. Do I have Jay? He's not out in the inters. That's got to be uh it has to be a a bug. Uh Jay Jay, I don't see you on my list. What? All right, someone says that uh, um, they hate Mexico and uh, the soft tires last for about seven laps, according to Patterson89. So it looks like that's legitimate intermediate tires here. And Narkip says 10 laps. So we have a range in between 10, 7 to 10 laps um, in the chat. Yes, Jay, you are appearing offline. We can't send you a, an invite. What kind of time do you think the Inters can put on a dry track? <laughs> this is the strangest thing. Was this a strange joke or a dare? <laughs> I thought it was a bug. Because we had uh, a bug a couple couple games ago where you had the wrong tire visuals on. Do you think it's going to go for a lap? <laughs> That's got to be a, 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 a miss hit on the wheel or something happened. Um, we'll our prestige is going to go out for another that. one. PLL is out. Uh, looks like PLL has put the soft tires on because he, I think he wants pole position. And El Sucio Dan, well, he's in the pits, actually. So, no. Is that El Sucio coming out on the softs? Those are indeed soft tires on El Sucio Dan. Okay, El Sucio Dan out soft tires. He third place on the medium is not good enough for him. He's going to have to... Uh, he, he wants that pole position. So, yeah, well, notable like mentions here. Oh, yeah? Go ahead. Oh, I was just saying, PLL no, no. seems like he's about to set a time, although he seemed to be lifting off a little bit during the stadium session. I think he's an, uh, I think he's an outlap. Yeah. He was an outlap. So we can go on board with PLL again. And uh, notable mention is that Kenny has yet to put a lap in. And that cost him dearly at Coda. 
he was certainly uh, someone who could potentially challenge for the win, but instead he had an admittedly very entertaining charge through the field to finish second in the end. So PLL doesn't seem very comfortable here uh, in this track. Certainly not as comfortable as he's been in uh, previous tracks. Mm -hmm. and with, the uh, corner cuts here are aggressive too. Oh, certainly. And with the JD uh, not present, presumably for the uh, rest of the season, it looks like we're going to have PLO and Kenny who are going to be some of the uh, main contenders alongside El Susio Dan for some of these top positions. Yep. Both of them uh, drivers who came late into the season, uh, but they're making yep. late charges. Uh, yeah. We uh, to give you a little fill in on where the season is right now. El Susio Dan has just secured the championship. Uh, JDR is, uh, well, not going to be able to get the championship, but already has clinched second place. So this is all about the fight for third. And we still actually, with only two races left, have six drivers who can still mathematically get third place. And that's uh, Raro with 108 points and Rogaine with 107. Rogaine critically not here right now. And same with Balzac, who had to pull out late. Uh, and Crip, as a matter of fact. So yeah, it's Robert Robert and has Red been absent. Yeah. Uh, so it's Bravo and Red Baron, the Williams teammates, uh, who are in this position. But really, Red Baron is going to be heavily channeled by Kenny Lafleur, who is at 61 points to Red Baron 69, and Kenny has just been showing a ridiculous turn of pace. He's only done three races and already up to 61 points. Uh, with two All right. So these guys left. are trading pole positions. El Susio Den and Pol. And that's a powerful, that's 14.492 right there. So that's uh, really, uh, really pushing the envelope now. PLL and the others are going to be hard pressed to get well down into the 114s now. So what is, um, question, what is uh, Kenny actually doing? He is just sitting in the garage. He's being gutsier than he needs to be, possibly seeking a challenge since uh, he's at a point in the season where he's kind of not really going to necessarily make a big move in the championship, but okay. he could make yeah. for, uh, for an interesting race. So this could be a little bit like a like yeah. um, part of the earlier season where Cub was uh, deliberately having gearbox issues in the qualifying so that he could do uh, <laughs> fights from the back. Yeah, he yeah. Uh, so die, Prestige, but... Prestige seems like he's got sector two under control if yeah i was on board with them in the very nice tight lines and uh all he has to do is to shave off like nothing and he'll take p p2 away from pll so let me check if jay is online he's actually. still he's still offline i've sent him messages Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there with Jay. Oh, okay. So Roro, not on the inters, puts the car in P5 on the mediums, which I think is the call to make. There's only 10 drivers on the grid, so if you can get halfway you know anywhere in p4 through p7 with the softs is definitely worth it so i think that's the strategy to do i i'd also like to like to talk a little bit about the uh the driver's championship here so uh right now Haas are leading comfortably but that's almost entirely the broad shoulders of el susio dan so Haas <laughs> has 237 points but the only other points have been ambush gap flag and explanay uh, and uh, as we can see, Gadflag is currently not racing for Haas. So if anyone can pass Dan, it is possible. Um, we've got Renault at uh, 195 points. Uh, that's working Griff, Takumi Fujiwara. None of them are racing today. Uh, Alpha Romeo is a uh, dub man. And just dub man right now since JD's not around. So Williams are the only team with 177 points who have both of their drivers. So both drivers, exactly. So with a with a good result in the next two races, 
Williams could potentially make a stab for the championship here, but of course it's going to be very hard because El Susio Dan is just a point scoring machine recently. So Pat puts his car in P5 with the soft tires. Oh, uh, Jay's just come online. Uh, could oh, you okay. Him an invite? Yes, he's got two two minutes. Uh, yes, I can do that. Uh, invite friends. Uh, where is... Okay, I sent him an invite. He's got two minutes to get into in the grid. Yes, you are online now. Yeah, we got yeah. Yeah, and we've both been able to send you an invite. So hopefully yeah. you're able to pop in. Might not be able to set a time, but at least you'll be able to be in your car. Okay, so Kenny's out of the garage. Once again, on the medium all the tires. On, himself. on the medium tires. Brick is right behind him. He's gonna let these guys through. I'm not sure if he knows if they're in the outlap or not. Looks like El Susio Dan is in the outlap. Dubman, I believe, is on the hotline right now. Gag is... Okay, so he's invalidated. El Susio Dan invalidated. Um... All right. So all pressure on Kenny. You want to go on board with Kenny? That's exactly where I've been. <laughs> One corner cut, he starts P11. Which, to be this fair, is, is a free choice of tires. And also, on a track like this, where you have a lot of uh, a lot of wear, being able to start on completely unused tires isn't the worst thing. Okay, so he's got some traffic ahead of him. And it looks like it's breaking, he's slowing down, and so is Prestige. Locks the right hand, goes a little deep. All these guys are over-rotating the car into that turn one. It's very interesting to see. It goes early in the power. Very good. We'll see where he breaks here. 100 meter board? Yeah, 100 meter board. Okay, so the, the front end definitely bit on that one. That's very nice. Got the car rotated early, power early, double apex. Gotta be patient on the rear end. Goes on full power. You gotta, you gotta open up this one, and he opens up very nicely. He still had a little bit of room on the right hand side. This one's a very tricky to carry. He goes very wide, goes very wide into the entrance and uh, compromises the exit. It's gonna pay all the way down here. Yeah, that's and a little bit more to open there. Yeah, yeah. So far, so good. Go oh my god, that is so wide. That's a whale wide, and he almost invalidates right there. Raro Gets the car rotated. Validate. And we'll see where he puts the car. P8. It would have been way better if he didn't go so deep into the stadium. So yeah, it seems that's... to me that he's arrow, li he's arrow limited. Because in I... the... Um, in the mechanical grip corners, he could the front end bit very nice. So he's got the mechanical grip. I it's have when he needed out. the arrow that went wide. Kenny, yeah. Kenny only really lost one position from that because look at the times. There's a huge gap from Kenny and Pat up to Dubman. Uh, oh, that's so. True. Even if he lost okay. a full second off of that, he probably only lost one, maybe two positions at the absolute most. Uh, All and right, prestige, get prestige. Starter. All right, Prestige P3. He's in the hot lap. Can he? Wow, that 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 rotation was beautiful. Did you catch that? That was that this was car is ro early power rotating push. beautifully. All these guys are are opting not to take that green strip on the right hand side, oh, and the there oh, goes the rear end. He say saved the car. He collected the car. He collected the car. So that was very good to do. So it looks like Dubman in the hot lap. Oh, he's lost the rear end, and that's a wheel. That's a wheel. Bravo. So all in. these guys are eyes on Bravo. into the S. Bravo just goes up four positions, and he makes his way up to P5 with, with the soft, soft tires. And I'd like so to point out almost exactly the same qualifying times as last season. 114.94, 114.99. Once again, they are five hundreds off of each other.
Okay, so that rounds up qualifying, I think. There we have it, El Sucio Dan, PLL, and Prestige, P1, P2, P3. The Can William guys are doing very good, P4, P5. In the end, things not looking quite as good for Kenny LaFleur there. I was thinking, you know, he's the highest up guy, he was in P8 with mediums, but now he's on slightly more worn out mediums, and he's only P9 with, uh, with Raw Road. Ah, uh, dude, dude, P medium, if he can do medium to uh, the softs, because of you don't have the fuel load at the end. It's gonna be just uh, you know time trialing but, at but the end. The mediums to softs is such a marginal strategy. Uh, if you oh, try really? to set, yeah, if you try to set yourself on a medium to soft strategy and stretch out the length, stretch out the distance as long as you possibly can, it still says you need to put on a fresh pair of softs with three laps to go, even if you stretch it as much as you possibly can. So you okay. really, really have to be pushing the limits of those tires. And we've seen what happens when, when that happens. We had the disasters for Ferrari the other race with those punctures laid on. Uh, so Jay, Jay got in. Seven. Jay got in, but Jay is going to start at the, at the end. Uh, free choice attire, all new tires. He has not used any tires. Um, so what you're saying is it doesn't matter... It doesn't make sense to qualify in the mediums because you're going to have to stop twice anyway if you want to avoid the hearts, is basically what you're saying. Yeah, you could still do. I think the medium soft soft is a good strategy. So you could definitely do medium soft soft, and it also means that you're going to have top pace throughout the latter half of the race. Um, so, you know, that makes for a nice aggressive strategy. And it also... Uh, if you've got good pace, and we know, we know that Kenny LaFleur has good pace, and we know that he can pass people on a compound uh, softer than his. We've seen it. He he does he did make a good work of the tire strategy last time around. He certainly did. The thing is, how is Kenny gonna fight El Susio Dan in that situation? Because we know that Kenny has the pace to do it, but from this position, it's going to be very, very hard. So I think eyes on. I'm uh, very interested to see. I'm interested to see the the P two P three battle because those guys are pretty close in qualifying. Oh, brother John in the house. Hey, man, how are you doing? Anyway, so um, P2, P3, so we got a Ferrari in P3. And uh, things, if we're things are going great. Uh, I've been called up many times by my friends for making uh, obvious predictions, but I'm, I'm going to make what I think is a safe prediction here. I'm going to say Dan Kenny PLL. I think that those are three very likely podium finishers, and I think Kenny's going to show some really, really nice race pace here. I say, um, <laughs> I'll say Prestige, P1. What did he just ask you, Sakura? PLL, PLL, P2, Kenny, P3. All right. <laughs> yes, all about that. Because the first time I, I, I talked to El Sucio this morning, and it was the first time he was practicing this race. One mistake on the S's with tire wear. If you don't know what your car is going to do, your, your wheel is off. Well, I put down your, uh, your prediction so that history may judge you. <laughs> it's a solid pre prediction, okay? I, I, it's, I, it's I do. Prediction. It's a statement of intent for us having a fantastic race tonight. And that's what we all want here, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Something absolutely crazy. Let's go. It's not raining, so... All right, five red, red lights. And we're going. Away we go. El Sucio Dan and Prestige already jumping. PLL, something horrible happened to PLL. He's dropping down the order. So it's going into turn one is El Sucio Dan. Red Baron! Oh, these guys are all next to each other. Oh, 
Red Baron takes the outside, and there's contact. There's contact, Red Baron, in the grass. In the grass. Uh, wow, what a crazy turn one. And here we go. These are all three wide. We have Dubman in the lead. Dubman coming in the lead, going very wide. Al Susha Dan just getting swamped to the left and right. PFL in the inside. Seems like he pushed, or he made himself a racing line there. And I think we're finally a little bit. Something happened in oh, sector Gap two here. Gap flag spawn. Wow. That has been one of the most chaotic opening laps I've ever seen. So here we go. Dubman himself leading the race after lap one, followed by P.O.L.L., followed by El Suciodan, Brick, Prestige, Roro, Kenny, Pat Lassard, J. Nameless Late, Red Baron, and Gag. We've got a little bit of a fight from Pat Lassard back to Red Baron. Oh, no, no, doesn't even need the DRS. He's just cruised by Dubman. That's a really strong start, and we've been looking for this from PLL. We've known that he's had really, really good pace throughout, and now he's, if he can just have a nice, clean race, I think we can see some really, really fantastic results from this guy. Brick is actually pressuring El Sucio Dan quite... He is basically pushing him along the track here. These guys are starting to settle into their racing positions now after the chaotic start. We can see what the winners and losers of this uh, chaotic start here has been. Position change. Dumbman himself, lap one hero, five positions gained. We'll see what El Susio then can do here. It's all about getting the traction out of this last corner. Now, these guys don't have DRS yet. PLL, fastest lap, almost pulling a full second. Doesn't look like El Sucio's got the straight line speed to challenge. All right, so Kenny has a look at Roro. Can't, don't quite make it. So really, Brick. Three tenths behind El Sucio, really, uh, really pushing. And uh, someone pointed out the penalties. Yes, the penalties in this track, they are quite brutal. And you see P1, P2 already have a couple of them. And now we'll go to the tire. Uh, Kenny on those medium tires, he, he'll, he'll be able to go long. And no one has been really pulling away. Oh, that man! It's all gone wrong! Oh, he's gone! He's done! Oh no, he's, he's not, not done. done. He still no. has his... Did he get hit behind by a Ferrari on oh, that Oh, his, his front wing goes flying. Disintegrated. Jay... Safety and car everyone Safety is car getting... Well, Safety car! That's very fortunate for Dubman. This means he's not going to lose. Who too goes much into time. the pits? Does anyone go in the pits right now? Well, Dubman for a start. Honestly, so very no fortunate one goes for... into the pits. Well, uh, just Dubman to replace the uh, front wing that we just saw going absolutely flying. Actually, he's in the position here that. So he's gone what he looks sauce. like. What he looked like was either desync or the Ferrari completely rear-ended him into the barriers. That's what it looked like. Well, actually, we can see their front wings, right? So let's see Prestige's front wing and Nameless Nate's front wing. Um, are you seeing Dubman? Oh, was he serving a time penalty there? Never mind. He was just Maybe. desync. He, I, I saw him frozen in the pits for a long time, and then suddenly appeared at the pit exit. So it, it may. Okay, have been Prestige has got his wing. Is Nameless Nate. Nameless Nate has his wing. So it was a little bit of desync is what it looked like. Yeah, that must have been it. Especially suggested by the fact that he froze in the pits for a good 10 seconds before suddenly appearing back on the track. Alright, PLL leading the race. 
And that is the nature of online racing from time to time. Did you get rear-ended? Nah, that you desync. Hmm. Fair. So that man is now on brand new softs. Now I don't know why would you not go on the mediums. Well, on why the have this not? The, uh, the other question is why are these guys not pitting? Why did they not well, pit? I don't think safety that, car. I don't think that the pit's an amazing choice right now. A bunch of these guys are still in very young softs. You could potentially, actually, you could pit for mediums and then softs. That would not be a bad strategy right now. Because you're at lap 5 already, so you could go medium softs now. Yes, at this point you could certainly make a medium soft for, strategy. Work. For a free pit for a free pit stop, too. But I think... Because you're going to have enough time to catch to the back of the queue, no? Yeah, there's a lot of people. Uh, like, for example, I think for Jay, for Gab Flag, probably for Red Baron and Pat, the pit would be good. But for everyone higher up, you don't really want to have to put yourself behind all those people. Dubman, catching up back with the... Uh, Rear of the train. This has been a this has been a race restoring uh, event for Red Baron. Uh, he was challenging to almost the lead of the race, and something happened into turn three, I think. Where he just, you know, he, he something happened there. Ted Lassard holding the fort at P7. Kenny P6, so he's gained a little bit of ground here. Now, based on uh, the chat uh, on Twitch, the softs go about 7 to 10 laps, right? So this yeah. guy's already got 4 laps of soft tires. Although in. they're going to be able to stretch so, their softs out a little bit longer because right, it's a gentle time. Right. Able to I'm just looking at Kenny tires. with mediums. Yeah, Kenny's going to be able to fairly comfortably uh, run, you know, in w well into the teens at the very least. One more lap of safety car? It no, safety like, oh, car no, coming safety in. Car is back in oh, P did PL already book it? No, no, he's, he's waiting. It looked like he he there just... Here's the restart. There they oh, go. Dan has a really good run on him. Yeah, yeah, he does. Although I think PLL is uh, is putting out all the deploy he can. And it looks like he's got a uh, oh prestige onto brick on the outside. Doesn't make it stick. So these guys are looking like the air on a queue. Oh, Roro makes an overtake on Prestige. And that's Nate going up the inside. Oh, co collision. And oh no, Nate is collected. He was trying to make a move on Jail Patel and they had side-to-side -side contact coming into the top of the track. And that's going to drop Nate back to 12th position. That's very unfortunate for him. All right, so Prestige is going uh, a little bit backwards here. This restart, Dan's he's lost. Make move uh, yeah, Dan diving up the inside, but he ties in deep. Oh, and he is spun out as he tries he's to gone. make this daring oh, move. Oh, he's gone. Any damage? Was... No, his wing's still intact, but now he's behind Jail Patel and drops all the way down tonight. <laughs> Sakuri, we have a situation. We do. And now he's got to go into the pits, no? His no, no, no damage. No damage. Oh, no damage. Okay, good. Although there is damage on Nameless Nate. Uh, or maybe not. He may just be taking a pit stop here. I don't see any damage to his front wing. Uh, but he is pitting. Only six laps in on his uh, mediums. And you know what? He's just going onto the, onto the hard tires. Going to run 29 laps on those tires. That's that's a big ask. I'm not sure he can do that. I think he might be doing hard to soft. Okay, so Roro tried to make the same move or a, a similar move than he did on Prestige, and it didn't quite work. But he's got he's got pace on on Brick, so it's just a matter of time here. And his teammate has got pace on Pat, so both Williams trying to to chase forward here. 
And there's that Constructors Championship that they, uh, I don't know how much they're thinking about it. Oh, Robert lost a bunch of time in the SS Prestige has got a beautiful run. Nothing he can do. So but he's trying to do the switch back. You Didn't can't do quite a work back out. Pass happens that early. Right. Uh, but, you know, it's worth the effort in case Prestige went deep. He could have oh, done the, the switch out. And if Prestige gets all bent out of shape at the exit of the last turn, which gives Roro a nice overspeed. Is that? No, uh, oh, I don't have the telemetry. Uh, He's not deploying, and neither of these guys deploying ERS. So LCC Dan, uh, a lap after his uh, his little collision there, uh, he's still behind Jay Patel. And meanwhile, it's going to be interesting to see if Nameless Nate can pull himself back into the race after that unfortunate. Uh, and you spin know, Brick. It, it, PLL is not dropping brick as fast as I thought he would. There you go. Oh, there we go. Finally, we see someone opening that corner the right way. And that's, these guys uh, have been LCC very careful. Well, it's it's difficult. There's a lot of acceleration from low speed at the Mexican Grand Prix, and you mm -hmm. can get a ton of wheel spin. Of course, yes. some of these drivers will be running some degree of, of traction control, which uh, makes that a little bit easier. But if you aren't, if you've got a really, really deft touch, you can really take advantage of that. Asusia Dan is very interesting because he can go on 75 power almost immediately. And he's the careful 75 to 100. Pit stop for Gab Flag. Gap flag in the pits, uh, medium tire on. Yeah, this is this is a little bit early for a soft to medium, so I think this is going to be medium yeah. and then finishing up on softs. I don't know if these guys uh, are allowing the car. They, they set up the car in a way that they over rotate in sector one, and maybe they do that just to gain time in sector two around this twisty section right here. Uh, I'm on board with El Susio Dan. And I'm here with Kenny, who's just keeping pace with Rara, which is a very nice place to be in if you're running a the opposite strategy. So he falls behind Rara a little bit during the S's, but then he's able to close back in. My dog has something to say about that. Well, dogs, are, <laughs> dogs are famous fans of things moving on TV screens. And here we go, it's a pit stop for Brick on, on the pit, this lap 10, so he's, going, he's going to go into the, in the medium tires. As are El Susio Dan and Red Baron. He might be able to undercut PLL depending on how those softs are. Oh, and There might be an yeah. undercut for, uh, and Kenny, right behind Raro. Interestingly, this also, Pat Lassard has been able to get the undercut uh, with El Susio Dan having to serve. I believe he had a time penalty that he just served. Let's see. As a matter of fact, okay. he might be coming up behind Gap Flag. Yep, there we go. And El Susio Dan uh, ahead only of Nameless Nate, although he's going to immediately try and make a little fight here. There's a side by side in Gap Flag. Let's him through. El Susio Dan is on soft tires, so Gap Flag wouldn't have been able to fight that off for very long. But, uh, Pat Brick is getting another story. three second uh, penalty. And there's a prestige train forming right here. And I think if I were Kenny, I'd be perfectly happy with prestige holding up Rara. Although, if he gets a nice exit here. He's going to have a run right here. He's going to have a run right here. It's over. Prestige, prestige into the pits. pits. Promoting He's got 60% to eat. PLL also. Not for very pits. long, my friend. Kenny LaFleur not is about to take the lead long. of the race here. Raro, even yes. with the DRS. Even with the DRS, there's nothing. Um, Kenny's guy had a lot more batteries than Raro. Although, did. let's see. Side by side. Uh, side, by side. Good defense. Oh, oh that's, that's, much. that's There bold. is a wheel bang. Raro, yeah, a little bit of wheel to side. There's a little bit of wheel bang. Raro is not just going to give up that position. He knows how important it is to hold off against Kenny LaFleur here. 
he needs to well, be right behind. here, it just is setting him up to um, not be able to. Well, actually, Prestige is going to stay ahead of him once Roro comes out of the pit. Because and these guys are losing a ton of time fighting each other. Man, their rear end of Kenny's car is uh, not compliant through those it's a little bit of that wibble wobble. Yes, it's a little bit. Oh, Dub! Dub has to do a counter spear. Kick. Oh, gosh, that makes me so nervous. All right, Kenny's got a good rotation. He's going to... Roro's got to have to go in the pits. Well, let's see what happens. There yeah, there you go. go. He goes the in the pits, pits. And that promotes Kenny to P1. All right, so Kenny's now time trialing. It all depends on how fast he can go. Yeah, this is no, really it's, the it's critical on... moment of the race for him. This is Kenny LaFleur finally having the track position he wanted. Uh, Dubman, who did the, uh, the earlier pit stop, uh, He's only six seconds, seconds behind Kenny. On faster tires, but tires that are really going to be dropping off at this point. So I would expect Kenny's mediums would be a nicer tire to be on right now than Dubman's seven lap old softs. Fastest sector okay. one for Kenny. So Williams, guys, P6, P7. And I they're on identical... Yep. And he's just gotten through and Pat Lassard into turn one. Oh, I missed that. There you go. He's going on Jay. Oh, he's going on an aggressive strategy on the soft tires again. So what he's going to do, he do is he's going to have to overtake, pit, and overtake again. But hey, what does he have to lose? This is going to be uh, overtaking practice. So Dumbman's going to have to pit again. PLL is going to have to pit again. Kenny is on a one pit strategy. We've also got an interesting fight for ninth right now. Pat Lassard is on fairly young soft tires right behind Jay, who is on brand new mediums. So we're going to see if this uh, if this tire differential is going to allow Pat Lassard to maybe go on the offensive against Jay right now. But right now, Prestige I is like Prestige. Raro and Prestige. Prestige is not even burning ERS. He's got sixty percent. He's like, he, I know he won't be able to get to me. And uh, Raro has been over steering all over that chicane, so he's lost quite a bit of time there. Atlas are right on Jay's tail as they come out of the first chicane. He's got a bit of a run here. He might throw it. Oh. Around the outside, is he? No, there's not quite the move there, and he backs off. But uh, we're seeing some nice aggression here from Pat Lassar. Oh, Pat! He's right behind Jay. Okay, good. So we have two chasing drivers right now. Oh, Roro loses the car through the through the asses. That rear end just did not want to... Did not want to rotate. the stadium section he's right behind and critically the the advantage that Pat Lassard has right now is going to start to evaporate because he's on these softs and the softs wear yeah. out quickly here and he was already at three laps when this fight started and now Jay's got his mediums up to temperature and Pat's just going to have his tires falling off much much faster than Jay <clears throat> oh man dub man back in P10, P11 after a second pit stop. He's putting That's on hards, rough, and he can dude. take these hards to the end. Uh, so he might be able to make up some positions if he doesn't just have too much of a delta from these, you know, long-lasting but admittedly quite slow tires. Meanwhile, up to Kenny LaFleur. The critical number right now is 11 seconds. That's the gap that he has built to PLL. PLL has to stop again, same as Kenny. Yeah, so this is uh, functionally the same strategy. They're both one pit stop from the end here. The so the 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 same the people who don't have to stop is brick and on down, right? So he's got 14 seconds to brick, but when he comes out, he's gonna be on fresh tires. And geez, 
brick not stopping. Like, the people who are on young mediums right now, I'm not so sure that they're going to be able to comfortably make they're it. They're going to the make end. it? Yeah, like, they need to really run those softs long to be able to make the one stop work. And I think that those guys might get eaten up by anyone else who tries to do a two stop. Because the, the advantage of a fresh soft is just so good here for a couple of laps at least. And the delta that you can build up makes it very hard to run a pacey one stop strategy here. You really have to really be cautious, gentle with your do you, tires. Okay, do yourself a favor, go to Prestige and look at his ERS deployment. That's a hundred percent right now. Did he forget about his ERS or is he playing this super cool? Well, uh, he's outside of Raro's uh, DRS for the moment. So he's got energy. Energy to spare. Up, I mean, to spare, absolutely. So I don't know when he's playing to deploy it. Meanwhile, El Susio Dan, all over the back of Red Baron with tire advantage. Oh, okay. We're getting treated here. Alright, All he's right. falling Let's very, see what very else close over the Dan can do here. Though neither of these guys deploying. Kenny LaFleur coming out in the mix. Oh, this All is right, a moment. This is a moment right here. Elsie Sudan with the inside line. Red Baron saying, no, sir. I'm holding on to this. Thank you. And Kenny LaFleur getting a front row seat to this really critical battle. And he's got to run. Kenny LaFleur with his fresh Kenny soft LaFleur tires. Has got to... And Kenny is two stopping. Kenny is two stopping. Oh, it's a three guys! It's a third! Oh, gosh! That's a whole... Okay, well, no one... Ten. All getting right, pushed. they are... They're getting all on top of each other. Wow. All over. All right, I think El Susio's got it. El Susio's got it. And he cut that corner to make that three-second penalty for El Susio Dan. Ugh. So Red Baron just got mugged for two positions in the spot, it was span by, of a one, it was by two uh, one guys sector. On softs. It was by two guys on softs, both of whom are nah, going to that's certainly what it have is. They're going to have to pit again, absolutely. Yeah, Kenny is not doing a one-stop. He was doing that thing I was talking about, which is, hey, you know, run the mediums and then soft, soft. So uh, I was suggesting Kenny would have some wicked pace late in the race, and oh, he's already doing that now. Here you go. He's deploying now. He's got to deploy to protect it. So Roros yeah, maybe had a run. But he's finally the block Oh! That okay. was sick! <laughs> Just defending on the outside! Had that perfect line in the overspeed to keep the position. That's one of the sickest defenses I've ever seen. That's some beautiful racing right here. Wow! They was not expecting to see that tonight, let me tell you. And this it's is definitely just the highlight of right the, the back of Rara already. So Kenny is yeah, just licking they're, his chops. they're losing a lot of time. They're losing a lot of time to each other here. And this is two guys on slower tires. This is Kenny on brand new softs. Here we go. Easy as few, please. Open. Just rocket ship through. Oh, but once again, Rara, the Rara, I'll is saying, no. him on the outside. Kenny on the outside Side of this side turn gets a cover rotating. And it's and over. Through. Kenny's already ahead. Oh, that Whoa. was very close. That was Bravo. very close. Absolutely. Oh my god, thank you very much for the tier one subscription. Here we go. Alright, that he's gone. That red bull's a rocket ship. Can he do the but same thing again? again? He tried the same oh, comeback. He's still but no, no, Kenny's got it. See, here's the thing. If I was Prestige, I would have tucked it behind Kenny and not have lost time to Roro because the fight is with Roro right here. He Roro has a look. I also see a dance nope. run on Red Baron too. Wow, these guys. This is beautiful. We're just seeing multiple strategies. This is the reason. 
that F1 goes for this setup of, uh, of different tire paces, different lifespans yeah, of the tires, yeah. fast degradation, because it creates such interesting strategic racing. So oh! Susie... Why did Kenny go on softs? Kenny's gonna have to stop again. That's exactly it. Like I said, Kenny's doing medium, soft, soft. So he did a reasonably long stint, but not overly long. There's no long point in doing that. He just no. threw. He just threw the massive advantage he had out of the window, which I is totally one pit disagree. stop. I totally disagree. I think that the uh, the medium soft soft is a very legit strategy. He ran mediums until he was able to get near the front. Now he's running it again. PLL is going to have to stop again. Kenny's going to have to stop again. All but right. also, Kenny is going to be able to be on nice fresh All tires right. throughout the race. Can I borrow like? Five seconds to tell Prestige. Oh, Prestige! He's gonna stick in the inside again. Yep. He he does the same move. He's he's perfected the defending out of that line. Everyone chooses to defend the inside, which is not always better. Uh, he's defending turn one in the outside, carrying the speed and making sure that he has the inside line into the exit of the chicane. And he's been doing this over and over and over again. It's been three times now. Okay, now, uh, what I wanted to talk about. Prestige, my friend. Uh, when you deploy ERS on the traction zone, that's the best place to deploy ERS. So he's been saving ERS. And then through gear 7 or gear 8, that's when he starts deploying if he sees the car is approaching. Game is over by then. Uh, had you deployed like 5% at distraction zone right here every single time, you would have cleared Roro by 3 seconds by now. He's get, he had 100% ERS. Uh, he's deploying now, so that's good. So for anyone watching, the ERS deployment on traction zones is by here far the go. best. Here's Roro, side by side, once button. again. And this time, I think... All right, oh. so... Oh, oh! So close. Had Raro gone half a meter deeper and lost some speed, this would have been side-by-side -side right here. But that's critical because these two are running the exact same strategy right now. Exact so same strategy. Raro also does not have any... Uh, any... Um, penalties. Okay. And Prestige Certainly. does have penalties. And now they're both almost exactly even on ERS. We were talking about, does Prestige know about deploying his ERS? He knew. He was hit, saving it for this fight. El Susia Dan, meanwhile, still being held behind Red Baron, and his softs are going to be falling off the wall. Oh, PLL oh, and El Susia Dan are both on very, very tired softs. Tired. Pardon me. It's a terrible pun. Didn't even mean it. And he's staying out. So, what's El Susi Dan okay, going to so do Okay, so Prestige has a, maybe a run at Roro, a Red Baron on Red... And El Susi on Red Baron. El Susi on Red Baron. Definitely a thing that's happening. Oh, El Susi on, on the outside. outside. On the outside. That's a beautiful line these guys have been using tonight. Yeah. If the guy hugs the inside apex, you just put the car in the middle of the corner and you make it work. Prestige, by the way, not giving up in this fight with Rauro. Oh, El Susio has a moment, and Red Baron may be able to get this back. Pat Lassard, meanwhile, drops to last as he makes his final pit stop of the race. He's now going to run mediums to the end. So he's going to have more pace than Dubman, who is trundling through on his hards, taking those clear through to the end. Meanwhile, Nameless Nate is on 13 lap old hards. Uh, I'm still imagining he's going to go on to softs at the end of the race, but time will tell. We're just past the halfway point. Man, Red Baron and El Susio, they're... They're, they're, over, they're both overdriving the car right now. El Susio made a mistake. Red Baron made a mistake. It's... El Susio in the Dan. pits. Yeah, he, he needed to do this. I think he's going to go on to mediums because that's a 14 laps, even on the lighter tires. Lighter fuel, I should say. That's going to be a very, very long uh, run. So I think... Yeah, I see yellows. 
And that is uh, mediums yeah. to the end for El Susiadan as he comes out, and he's going to be comfortably ahead of Gab Flag in eighth place. Meanwhile, Nameless Nate everyone is, uh, is on everyone is over rotating the car into that turn one. I don't know. I don't think I've seen one person who didn't over rotate the car into turn one. It's it very interesting. He is not. He is not giving this up. And both of these guys are going to have one more pit stop, so this is looking to be a classic soft, medium soft for these two. And they're both having problems keeping apex speed through the S section in Sector 2. And that's all about the compromises that you make for setups here. You're either going to be good through the S's or you're going to be fast in the streets. And the S's, you really can make and lose so much time through Sector 2. PL in pits for the medium tires. Yep, PLL and Drops behind Susan Prestige Dan. into this fight. Wow, he is... forever behind these guys. But you're saying... P through to P5 is going to have to stop again, is what you're saying. Yes, I'm absolutely saying that none of these guys are making it to the end on these mediums. There's no way in hell that these guys are doing another 13 laps on mediums that are already between 10 and 12 laps old. So the big fight right now is still Prestige and Raro, who are fighting very, very aggressively over third place. We're seeing a bit of a scrappy fight between the We have a fast charging PLL be right behind this guys. It's going to be and, very hard uh, for Red Baron to hold this off. He won't be able to. I mean, at the same time, this is not the fight for Red Baron to do. He's going to just... I would just... Wait into a place and just not fight too much. Because you really don't want to... I mean, it's a 12 lap delta in time. Well, hey, let's, let, let's think a bit about the team here, though. If Red Baron can fight and not lose too much, this is really, really good for Rauro. And I know that these guys cooperate a lot together, and I don't think he's going to be able to hold off PLL on this straight here. Yeah, it's... Yeah, PLL's got 80% 80, 80 ERS. Red Baron didn't even burn ERS. He knows it's over. PLL yeah, locking the, the right tires. Right now, Red Baron needs to be focused on Jay, who is three seconds behind him and running an extremely similar strategy. Meanwhile, PLL, it was extremely important that he did just do that. Because if he hadn't been able to do that, you know, that's just slowing him down on this last stint. There's no more strategy, there's no more pit stops that's going to help him. Now wow. it's just a just flash look. to the finish. And look at the delta between Prestige and PLL. It's just melting. I mean, the dude is just so fast. If I was Prestige right now, I'd, I'd, I'd pit and undercut Roro. Well, th we're getting right into the spot for the final pit stops for Red Baron, Prestige, Roro, and Bricklot. And, and Jay as well. Uh, they're going to be pitting, I'd say, in the next two laps. Oh, Prestige in the pits! Yes! He's listening to me! Yeah. <laughs> He's going to... He's going to undercut Raw Roll, no question about it. There's no way. In the soft tires as well, there's no way. Well, let's He's see. Only gonna, is he going to be fed into clean air? Yes, he is. Look at that. Beautiful clean air in front of him. Man, the engineer is doing his job today. Can just uh, go on Rich, blast through Sector 2. Critically it's enough, going to clear LCC three Dan seconds. is behind him. But LCC also, Dan. LCC yes. Dan's on mediums not softs. So El Susio Dan's going to have more pace at the very end, but for now, Prestige is probably just going to be pulling away from him. Alright, Prestige, time trial lap right here. Come on, bro. He's going to... He's There's no way he's not going to undercut Roro for track position. Oh yeah, look at that. That's hooking it all... Hooking it right in all the right places. Just don't get any more penalties. <laughs> so Bricklot's on the oldest mediums on the track here. 14 laps 14 on laps. the mediums right now. Is he going to pit in this lap or is he going to wait one more? Here he comes. All right, same question for Raro. Is Raro going to come in? Raro also coming in. He had to respond. He didn't have a choice. 
Oh, and Brawler gets a five second penalty for speeding in the pit lane. That's critical. Also, Red Baron That's staying critical. up one more lap. This opens Going up a into the for Jay soft tires. All right, Jay where's Prestige? Jay. Prestige is coming out. Rauro's still in the pits. Prestige, is he going to make it? I think he's going to make it. Oh, here we go. Here's the pit exit. No. Oh, oh maybe yet. so close. But he's he going to be on hot tires. Second. And he's got one more lap worth of knowledge on these. And let's not oh, forget. Oh, but this is going to really help. Second penalty. Uh, how many does Prestige have? Prestige with 12 seconds of penalties, so... I Are you gotta, joking, right? Uh, I, I, I wish I was joking, but if it makes... If it makes Prestige oh, feel better, no. Jail's got 14 seconds and Dubman's got 15 seconds of penalties. The only person who's this clean, is, by the way, is Kenny LaFleur. It's Kenny. Yeah, he's, he's got P1 on penalties right now. That he does. He pit! He's, he's out! Kenny is set to win this Grand Prix. You're right, medium soft softs. You're absolutely right. It's a very right. fast strategy. You were completely right. Do you want to be my race engineer? I'd love to, but then I'd have to not do the races. <laughs> I can just imagine no. I'm running and be like, okay, I want you. Okay, so here's my data. <laughs> I just if anything, it should be it should be Cubs race engineer because why waste you on me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I Give mean, Cubs some help. I'd like uh, to point out the strategy that I picked for myself in Austin. Mm, nah, not the greatest. Yeah. So, call me lucky today. Yeah. Well, that was a great call. Really, it really was. Um. Inter. So we're in interval penalties. Uh, also, tires. We'll leave it uh, at tires right now. With, with the pits done. Joe Patel is now just ahead of Red Baron, and they're going to be yeah, fighting I see that. tooth and nail over seventh place. Yes, and they have the exact same tire. Exactly. Something happened. Something happened to Prestige. He was half second behind Roro. He's now three seconds behind Roro. So he had a moment. And meanwhile, I'd like to point out Bricklot, who I've been meaning to talk up for a bit here, but Brick fastest lap. First of all, just as I bring him up, but also he's just been running a very quiet, very strong strategy. Just uh, straightforward. Quiet. What are you talking about? Quiet. He took the lead of the race. Oh wait, no, that was Dubman. I'm talking Brick lot here. Yeah, that was Dubman who took the lead of the race. Brick. Brick has got a ton of pace here. And by the way, absolutely everyone, the entire grid, two stops. Not a single one-stop strategy. Yeah, that's right. Wait, 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 dub man. He is on 13 lap old hards. Yeah, he's running hards all the way to the end here. So the question is, will he one, be able to hold only on? Only one stop, hard? right? Nope, nope, nope. He had to make a stop extremely early on, remember? That's right, that's right. That wing that went it's flying? been so many. All right, so R Red Baron J. All of these guys are having a really difficult time through the asses, man. But Red also, Baron's got the ass on Jay. Yep. There is still a fight for the last point here because Gabflag, Pat Lassar, <laughs> Nameless Nate, and to an extent Dumbman are all going to be converging here. They're all spread between the S's and the very top of the track here. And you've got the fastest guys with the, with the freshest, youngest, and softest tires in the back, and the guys running the long strategies up in the front. So these guys are all going to converge, so keep an eye on the back four, because there's going to be some fireworks before the end of the race, I'll bet. So these guys have sort of um, spread out now. You At least the top the top seven. Oh, uh, Kenny! I was going to say, are you sure about that? I was not. What was I? Am I dreaming? And, uh. Oh! Well, recall that he already had the lead based on. Red Baron on J! Red Baron on J! 
They're side by side. And Red Baron's got it. Does he? Nope. He's got oh, the inside line, guys but Chase going. got the faster line. Meanwhile, so LCC brave. Picks up time penalty. They made it. Oh, Jay just disconnected. Oh, Jay disconnected. Yeah. That sucks. Well, hopefully he's able in to get back soon. But this rocket is ship in the front straight overtakes PLL by I don't even know a car park. And now this is all going to be can PLL keep it close enough, keep it clean? But oh, it's going to be so hard with the penalties he's facing. And meanwhile, Brick is looking in really good shape for a podium, but Raro is not giving up on this. And now that Prestige has fallen off of his back, Raro he can, can be focus on attack. Broken. Yeah, absolutely. And also, eyes on the penalties. Uh, Raro is eight seconds of penalties compared to Brick Lot six. Um, so he only needs to close 0.9 seconds. That's it. No, 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 he has eight seconds, he needs to pass, because he's got more seconds than Bricklot. Oh, 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 I, I read that opposite. Okay, so, uh, yeah, two se so he's got to pass and clear two seconds? Yeah, so I don't think it's gonna, I to don't think it's gonna happen. It'd be hard. Oh, P oh PLL! PLL loses the car, Sector 3, he's got to go in the pits. Oh, goodness, oh, this changes everything. Suddenly, this changes this everything. he's so gone. Far down. He's gonna be behind Alcicio Dam. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The question is, where is he going to be relative to Red Baron? Red Baron just coming into the stadium section now. I was on board to PLL. Completely went. He basically did a Botas qualify qualifying 2019. All right. Let's see what happens. Exact here. same barrier. Exact exact same barrier. Oh yeah, he lost the position to Red Baron. Nice uh, estimation there. He, PLL slots right behind Red Baron. Uh, although he's going to be able to get past him nice and quick. Oh, that's... It, it, it's hard to see because PLL, he's just been showing this fantastic pace for so long. And so many of his races just get undone either by, you know, accidents with others or... Ooh, Ooh, that was... Goodness, you guys don't have to be so curse. close! <laughs> And then, and then he pulls right in front. He puts his gearbox right on Red Baron's nose. I need to point out that oh, if Red oh, Baron man. can just stay close to PLL here, PLL is swimming he in penalties. He's got six seconds more penalties than Red Baron does. So he's going to have to pull up seven. Yeah. And these guys can see that now with the, new, with the new game patch. They can see exactly what the penalties look like for people. Uh, you used to not be able to do that. So basically, the top Gadflag. four in the exact same... Uh... Nate and Gadflag, all fighting over each other oh, at the top oh, end of the circuit. What happened? Oh, Prestige dropped, that's right. So Roro's chasing Brick, that's what happened. Exactly that, yes. Also, J.O. Patel, still disconnected. But he's uh, he's only lost 10 seconds, so if Jay can get back into the race, he's still in the position he was in just 10 seconds further back. He used to be 5 right. seconds behind Red Baron, now he's 16 seconds. Gaplag and Nameless Nate still fighting. Just a titanic battle in the back of the track here. And these guys, if they're fighting this much, this is going to be fantastic for Dubman and Pat Lassar. I was talking about the, uh, the convergence right. of the back here. I think Nameless, I need, I think Nate's got, oh yeah, they, Nate's got this. Yeah, it's a textbook overtake. Nothing Gap can do. Again, I see these guys deploying ERS once it's over. So, ERS deployment, best under traction zone, once, uh, like, uh, third and fourth, third and fourth gear, third, three, four, and fifth, that's the most gain you're gonna get out of ERS, um, if you guys are re-watching this later. I've seen enough of it tonight to just give it a shout out to these guys. Um, so Gab now uh, trying to keep Nate. Um, these Ferraris are looking fast, man. And I mean the the the, the, this, the the defenses that Prestige was putting up today, like man, that's that that was hot. That so really there's was a key hot. thing happening here. Uh, I think there could be a battle. Oh, oh, Nate. 
fucking gab. I just came to go, come and check on them, and they're all oh, on top no. of each other by the barriers. Oh, yes. Jail Patel's pitting with three laps to go to put on a fresh set of set of mediums. <laughs> that's that's the AI doing that. Yeah, that is that's the AI well, doing that. He he had six lap old softs. He could have been on nine lap old softs at the end. That's just that's that makes me angry. But what I was so else is Sudan P five? Yes, he is chasing down Prestige. And let's have a look at the penalties. He really here. is trying. Prestige, oh, he's, he's got, got a gap before. He's got Prestige. Yes. Yeah. There's no yeah, way. I don't mean, yeah. The question is: Is Prestige even going to hold? Uh, with 15 seconds of penalties, that's just going to drop him down. Uh, well, six relative to the people behind him. That's going to drop him all the way down to P6. PLL with the fastest lap, and actually, PLL is going to be in a nice position to start maybe challenging El Susia Dan since he's got three laps left to do it. Yeah. And, you know, he didn't want to be on this strategy. He's the only person who's on a three-stopper now. Um, but he can at least maybe salvage something out of this as he's chasing down Prestige and, uh, and El Susia Dan. He's already got Prestige uh, based on penalties. Dude, this but... guy, this guy is still on top of each other. Nameless Nate and Gab. <laughs> They're not giving up. They don't care if that is for one point. And that's the spirit. That's the spirit. Kenny, P1, no uh, no penalties. From from basically like P8, is that where he qualified? P9 actually. P9. Wow. He's certainly been able to capitalize on a, on a race where El Susia Dan was in command and then made a mistake. In Brick, man, that's solid race from Brick. Solid as a brick, you could say? Yeah, solid as a brick, absolutely. Solid as a brick was to that, the head. Was that, was that pun intended? It's always intended, Sakuri, it's always intended. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, He's as solid as some sort of uh, some sort of building equipment or something. So El uh, Dan, twelve lap old mediums. He's lost a second and a half in the last lap. PLL is going to be on the back of them here, and they have the exact same amount of penalties. Do I lose the positions gain and lost? Uh, did you lose that? Uh, let's see. No, position change is still there. Um, it's, uh, Where it's is that? De it's under detail. Ah. Currently, Kenny's up eight, Brick's up four, Raro's up two, Prestige is down one, Dan's down four, PLL's down yeah, four, I see. Yeah. Baron's down four. three, Dubman and Pat down one, Nate up one, Gaplag down one, and Chael Patel sadly. Oh, El Susia Dan spins out! I told you, man. I told you. I told oh. you. I, I, I talked to him this morning, actually, because I saw him in the game. I was like, I told him, dude, you don't practice anymore. you champion. He, he, he's like, yeah, first time I got on to practice oh. this track. It's like, oh, this is not a track you do that at. Which, El funny enough, I have yet to practice this one. El Susio Dan might lose P6 because yeah. Red Baron has three seconds of fewer penalties. Yeah. And, and I had a feeling that was going to happen. See, the, the, see, there was a reason for my crazy prediction. I had a feeling that was going to happen. You well, know, uh, like I uh, wrote down uh, your prediction, and uh, your prediction was <laughs> prestige PLL Kenny. So, uh, your prediction, yes, you I were correct in not predicting Dan, but I think uh, prestige and PLL. Uh, well, then again, okay. I also predicted exactly. I got like thirty-three percent. Uh, fail. Uh, thirty-three percent success rate. So did you? All right. Kenny Lafleur, P one, solid race, no uh, penalties. Driver of the day for me by a mile. Uh, Brick, solid pace. P two. Raro, P three. Brick is my driver of the day. <laughs> Kenny didn't even Prestige put himself in that situation in qualifying. Brick was very good. Uh, Prestige man. The defenses you put today, that was wow. Yeah, three times in a row. Uh, that was some midline corner through there. 
uh, he loses so, so many positions on penalties. So uh, only it's a uh, Roro, Roro P3, uh, PLL P4 after losing the car, Bota style. El Dan still in the P5, race, actually. 21 lap old hearts. Wow. <laughs> That's, uh, you know? He can he can make the uh, the long stop work. He had to have that early uh, that early piss up that really hurt him um, after losing his front wing in the safety car. All right, Battle so Red Baron P seven, Battlestar P eight, Dubman P nine, and Nate P ten for the uh, point paying positions. This has been FRL Division Two Season Two Race Thirteen Mexico. Uh, if you're watching us and you don't race with us, come in. Uh, Katie Vlaflair, race the driver of the day. Absolutely for me. Brick, a very close second, uh, if not tied for a driver and of the well day. And a well-earned podium for everyone. Absolutely. And uh, if you don't race with us, uh, come and check us out. Uh, we will have a two, you know, we will have, a, we will be racing on the new game coming out in about a month. Uh, so check us out. If you do race with us, um, come back. Race with us uh, more. And yes, you uh, this that's big work. been absolutely <laughs> give us more work to do. Uh, this is it. This is uh, Sukuri and Chaos. Um, Cheers. Glad that you've been able to join us. Very exciting race today. Any absolutely. anything you'd like to add? Absolutely. So right now. Uh, we're looking at the championship here. This is Raro, who's really uh, pulling away, securing for himself for a place in the championship. Kenny LaFleur making a charge up. Uh, with this uh, result, he's able to move his way up. And I think he still might seriously challenge for fifth in the championship here. But looking at the teams, this is a fantastic result for Williams. Williams P3, Williams P7. Uh, they're catching up on, uh, on the gap that Pass has. Um, so they might be able to make a, make a, make a run of it, or at the very least secure their hold on second place in the team's championship. And overall, uh, everyone who finished, finished within the, uh, the lead lap. The paces were nice and close. There was competition throughout and a lot of intersecting strategies that all ended up coming together in exciting, entertaining ways. It was a good race. Absolutely good race. All right, you guys, we're signing out. Uh... Thank you for coming. Check us out again next Monday, same time. Uh, next track is uh, Interlagos, for those of you who have been watching F1 long enough. Um, and that is the last race of the season, is that right? I believe so. And uh, don't forget also that uh, same time, but on Wednesday, we're going to have uh, the Division 1, the No Assist Division, where you'll see Sikuri and I and many others racing. And you'll have our Williams boys, Red Baron and Bravo, running commentary. And for a subscription, I will do a very nice spin, either uh, in Sector 2 or Sector 3. In yeah. Scarlet Red. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a very good night. Absolutely. Catch you later, everyone. All right, stop streaming. <laughs>